Hey guys, Matt from Adventure Fit Outs here. Here we have another sprinter build that we've just wrapped up, dubbed Motovan. This was built with pretty specific criteria in mind to um, cart dirt bikes around to the track of a weekend. So our client basically came to us wanting to fit four dirt bikes in the back, have an internal shower and toilet, and be able to sleep comfortably with a few luxuries and a massive battery system. Take a look inside in a sec, but let's take a look on the outside. On the front, we have a backwards front bar. Now this is the one that doesn't actually have the light bar that goes over the top in front of the emblem. I actually love it. In the photos, these backwards bars look really bulky, but I think on this van, it's actually really well proportioned. We've got a couple of Baja Squadron lights in the front, worn Evo 12S winch. Everything's blacked out. We've got the Terry Wagon hood spoiler. And then up top, have a look at those. There's five Baja LP9s mounted on first of a kind wedge tail roof rack extension. We work with wedge tail to, to basically prototype and build this roof rack extension to be able to mount lights like this. And it's come up really nice. Up top we've also got Fiamma F45 awning, some awning lights underneath there. And we've got aircon max fan skylight up there too, as well as some solar. Blacked out factory wheels, running KO2 tires, 235-85-16s, got the our van side steps, we've got some flare space pods that assist with some storage in the garage which I'll show in a sec, we've also got the backwards rear bar, really nice bit of bar, matches well with the front, we've got some big reversing lights on there, so then it's looking a little bit dark, I'll just open this up a bit. So we've got our van's Tyke ladder carrier, B2 with the Expedition box, Sherpa Mini. Overall, ultimate package for the rear end of a Sprinter. Absolutely love it. Just take you around. Just in the Tenorite grey. Really nice grey colour, particularly when you black out all the accents on it too. So take a look in the garage. So here we go. Ultimate Moto Garage. Basically we designed this to accommodate four dirt bikes. Now it's a bloody tight fit to fit four bikes. You can squeeze two on the outsides with the front wheel going around the front of the wheel arch there and then two in the middle facing this way with the handlebars slightly staggered. We've got a ton of black anodized L-Track all through here for tie down assistance. The flares help with a bit of extra storage in here. There's a little shelf at the back. We've got our toilet cassette accessed through there which means we don't have to cut a hole in the side of the van which was a request by the client as well. Then on the doors, we've got some neat bamboo door cards and some storage pockets and hooks. Got air hoses and tie fillers and outdoor shower heads there. So yeah, pretty nice motor garage. Up top, we've also got some storage for some bags and helmets and things. We've got a ARB twin compressor some outlets and switching for lights and the outdoor lights on the back of the roof rack there as well. Let's take a quick look inside. So with the bikes in the back, it's pretty tight in here, but we've managed to squeeze in quite a lot. So we've got a full shower toilet pod with a neat little tambour door on there. 
bed up the top here. It's very tight, but down the end we have a skylight. So when you lay with your head down that end and actually look up through the skylight, it's not too bad. We've got some Sirocco's reading lamps. You've got aircon. You've also got this TV here. So this TV can actually swivel out of the van. So then over here we've got our control panel. So Cymarine Safiri display system, custom engraved buttons, got a diesel heater, um, light switch as well. Down in this galley here we've got a Bushman's fridge. We've just got a little bit of drawer storage. And then over here we have a diesel heater hot water system. That's from Diesel Heat, really nice system. Gives us uh, plenty of hot water as well as diesel heating. So over here we've got a little sink galley, filter drinking water, hot cold water, neat little sink there with a chopping block. Up top, you've got a little storage nook to put phones and laptops and things, charging overnight, Kamek microwave, headliner shelf, and then this little bench seat kitchen set up, which I'll show you how it converts, but so we've got this pull-out kitchen here. Nice outdoor kitchen set up. And then we also have induction cooker. So that induction will plug in down there. Some 240 outlets and everything there. Overall, this is a really nice setup. Now this bench seat here also actually flips over when those captain's chairs are swiveled around. This can flip over and there's another cushion that actually makes a nice um, second bed system in there. So it's also a good little lounging area. You could lay there, hang out, watch TV. But um, yeah, overall it's come up really nice. It's finished in a gray melamine with bamboo. Really nice premium bamboo ceiling. Everything's kind of blacked out where we can. Super stoked on this build. Alright, thanks for listening. See you in the next one.